All you punk ass looking ass, head ass looking ass, fucking YouTube watching ass looking asses. Welcome back to the channel, whores. Today we've got a great informational vid for you, okay? Today we got another C vid. Hot off the fucking press, hot off the griddle. We're just gonna be giving it a review. Full, comprehensive, unbiased review. We're gonna be covering seven topics today. We're gonna be covering the location, academics, food, party slash Greek life, people, activities, and cost. So let's get into E. Location. So CU is located in Boulder, obviously. If you didn't know that, what the fuck are you doing? It's a pretty dope location, honestly. You got the flat irons right out there at your, at your front door, you know. You're 40 minutes from Eldora Ski Resort. You're two hours from Vail. You got the fucking Pearl Street Mall. You're probably an hour from the nearest airport. Pretty dope location. Honestly, I'd probably rate it an 8 out of 10. Also, Boulder's like the number one happiest city in America, which is pretty tight. The winters get a little depressing just because like it gets so dark and also cold for like two months. It's not that bad though, but I'm used to the winters because I grew up in Colorado. My roommate Baxter fucking hates the winters here because he grew up in California. So it takes a little adjustment, but it's honestly not that bad. Yeah, I'd say if you don't like cold temperatures, it might not be the school for you. However, if you think you can deal with it for like Two and a half, three months. You're probably chilling. <sighs> chilling. <laughs> Let's move on to the next topic. Academics. So academics, you got tons of resources. I'm a film major, so I really can only speak to the film department about this. But dude, they have fucking everything. You can rent like a four thousand dollar camera for like ten dollars a day, which is pretty dope, honestly, if you ask me. So there's this thing called the Idea Forge here. They have like three D printers, like machining, like which is pretty dope. So you have to be self motivated here. Like there's no one getting on your ass saying you gotta turn in your shit. Like no one's reminding you to do your homework. In fact, I'm like extremely behind in all of my classes right now because of that but uh, if you're not self-motivated you might just fail out just kidding you probably won't gen eds gen eds are pretty fucking trash like they're they're pretty bad it's pretty much just high school classes again but you're paying like a fuck ton of money for it so it gets discouraging at times but if you can find some cool classes that are in your major like me my film classes fucking dope my art class right now fucking dope every other class i have is absolute shit it's trash so like 101, shit's trash. English, shit's pretty trash, but my professor's actually a chiller, so it's not that bad. Like all the intro lecture classes, like the 101 lectures, are fucking terrible. But that's to be expected, you know? You're in like a 500 student lecture. That shit's gonna be boring as fuck. Also, I sit in like the furthest back row because I don't wanna like walk down a bunch of stairs to get to the front, and so then like I end up just going on my phone the whole lecture, going on Twitter and shit which feels like a waste of time. But also, I literally would rather die than try and pay attention to the fucking professor because it's so freaking boring, so boring. But like I said, there's pros and cons, right? Like my film class, dope as fuck. Macroeconomics lecture, really shitty. But sometimes you gotta take the shitty class to get to the good class, which there are a lot of here if you find them. Basically what I would recommend so that you don't hate school is to actually study something that you enjoy, right? You're paying a lot of money to go. You might as well actually find some joy in it. Am I wrong? Please tell me in the comments if I'm wrong as fuck because honestly I might be. I'm not qualified to give you life advice in any way, but I still do because it's fun. <laughs> Fucking Baxter right now hates school because he's taking all these boring ass classes and I'm like Baxter uh, Why don't you take something fun dog? Why don't you take something fun dude? Take a painting class <laughs> Take a drawing class. Why not? Do I feel like a five-year-old in my painting for non-majors class? Yes Yes, I do but it's fun. So what? Okay, let's move on to the next topic Food. Let me know if you guys want to see a full CU food video, like an Anthony Bourdain type like travel food video, you know. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Anyways, moving on. There's like four dining halls. There's the C4C, the biggest one on campus. It's pretty dang. The Sewell, pretty dang. Then there's Farron Market. There's a bunch of like little mini markets. You know, it's like kind of like a gas station market with like added extra food. Like they got chicken nuggets and cheese, which are actually pretty 
pretty fucking dank. They got paninis, kombucha, meatball marinara Monday, which is today. Better go cop myself a fucking marinara Monday sub. Dog. It's the highlight of my Monday. Marinara Monday. Honestly, it's the highlight of my week, guys. The fucking subs are pretty dank. They come with three meatballs, sometimes four, depending on what they felt like doing that day. And they're re they're fire. They're fire as fuck. Then you got, like, fucking Pesto Tuesday or some shit. And then, I don't know what Wednesday is, but Thursday. Thursday is my second favorite day of the week because it's Dumpling Thursday, dog. Dumpling Thursday. It's dank as fuck. And you can't go wrong with a dumpling. Usually, I get two cartons there's like 14 dumplings in that sheet and i sit in that blue chair and i usually watch either real bros of simi valley or planet earth 2 and i eat my dumplings three o'clock till four o'clock and yeah they're dank as fuck they got applesauce too i usually get the applesauce the applesauce fucking slaps dog you can't go wrong with the applesauce and a dumpling on a thursday afternoon maybe throw in a little yerba mate in there and uh like you're set honestly in general the food is pretty unhealthy however you can make it healthy if you really want you know it just takes a little bit of extra effort Fucking Honda Civic looking ass. They have a salad bar at the C4C. Usually I make like a spinach tomato salad and then put like a lot of ranch on there because otherwise it's pretty fucking nasty. I can't really eat salad without ranch. I mean like they have balsamic too, but it's just not the same. It doesn't hit as hard. Every time I go into the C4C, I make a salad and then I never end up actually finishing it because uh, it's fucking trash. And and I always eat it after I eat my main meal, so I'm not hungry anymore, and I'm just like, fuck this salad, like, I'm not gonna finish this shit. This tastes like ass, my entire mouth wants to throw up, and so uh, I end up not finishing my salad, which is pretty shitty uh, of me to do to me. <laughs> But I'm working on it. I try and finish it sometime. I, I don't. I don't even try. I don't even fucking... <laughs> at this point, like, I'm just trying to survive the end of the semester. It's tough, you know? The salads here literally taste like fucking cardboard. Like, grass-flavored cardboard. So if you can imagine what that would taste like. All right, enough with the food. Let's move on. Um, so in general, I'd say Greek life is a pretty big part of the community here. It makes up like 3,000 of the kids or something. That I, that could be completely wrong, but someone told me that it was like 3,000 kids. So out of like a 30,000 kids school, that's a lot of the population, you know? And I mean, most of the parties here are Greek. The thing about the frat parties, in my humble opinion, okay, is that they're kind of shitty. If you're not, like, blacked out and you actually look at what's going on, it's, like, fucking... It looks like a war zone. I'm just not really a huge fan. Like, they're just, like, not my vibe. But they're definitely fun sometimes. Like, they're fun, but they're not if you know what I mean. But you could party every single night here if you want to. Like, there's something going on every night, which is kind of scary, but at the same time, kind of lit. If you're looking to party, this is probably the school for you. People just go hard. I don't understand how they do it. My body can't physically handle it. It's kind of tough if you're not in a frat to get into the frat parties, but you can do it. Sometimes they just, they're chill and they're like, all right, they like, come on in. But most of the time they're going to be like, who do you know here, dog? Who do you even know here, dog? Hi, could I be allowed into your frat party, please, sir? <laughs> I said, hello, um, my name is Joseph, would you allow me into your frat party, please? Why are you talking like that? Also, j no. <laughs> Who do you even know here, dog? I know Chad. There's at least like 30 Chads in there right now. So like, you're gonna have to specify maybe a last name, you know, is Snapchat or something. <laughs> Chad Smith, I believe it is. Chad.Smith. Wrong, bro. It's Chad underscore Smith, you fuck. Get off my frat porch lawn. Get off my- Get off my fucking property before I sock you in the eyes, in the in the left eye. You're such an idiot. Look at you with your white converse, khakis. Look, you think you're getting into this frat, bro? All right, then I'll leave. I just wanted to get some puss. Fuck, I'm such a failure. <laughs> so yeah, pretty hard to get into frats, typically. Anyways, let's move on to topic number five. 
people. So it's pretty diverse, I'd say, you know? A lot of exchange students, a lot of Colorado kids, a lot of California kids. I mean, you got everything here. Hyper, hyper academic people, fucking party animals, crazy outdoor people that just like climb and do crazy shit on the weekend, like ice climbing and shit. There's a lot of different kids here. Generally, I'd say they're pretty nice, pretty chill, pretty relaxed. Nobody's gonna be a piece of shit, generally, unless they're hammered. People are nice until they're drunk and then you never know what the fuck is gonna happen. All right, let's move on to topic number six. Activities. Activities, you got partying, working out, outdoor activities. There's a lot to do around here. Very diverse. Uh, there's always something going on. I'm never really bored, uh, which is also kind of draining, but most of the time, pretty dope. All right, let's move on. Cost. Shit's pricey as fuck, dog. That's the bottom line. College is expensive. I mean, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, go to community college, get the gen eds out of the way, and then come here. I mean, you could do that. It's $30,000 on average, I think, in state, which is like one Tesla Model 3 a year, which is fucking brutal. Yeah, if you don't know what you want to do, I'd say take a fucking gap year. So that's that. That's cost. Now let's get into my subjective review. I like it a lot. The dorms were fun for the first maybe two months and now they're definitely getting old because the dorms just feel like I'm living in a fucking simulation because I don't know it's just like a box and like everyone else has their own box of a room and they all do the same shit. I'll go to class and like go work out. Sims 4 CU edition. Honestly it's been a pretty fun ride. Learned a lot. You know a lot of self growth in college. A lot of you know, a lot of personal development in college so far. This school is obviously not for everyone, but that's the same with every school, you know? Um, so you might come here and hate it. I'd rate it probably a uh, 7. No, uh, I'd rate it probably an 8 out of 10. Overall, good time. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up. Yeah, I hope you guys got some value from this video. If you did, you know, drop a like. Comment what schools you're gonna apply to. Maybe make some friends in the comments. It's kind of fun. There's definitely some shit that I didn't talk about because I forgot. So if you have any more questions, just comment them. I'll answer that sheet. And uh, for now, adios. Keep it 100. Peace.